Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to KRS TV. This is your boy Kenny, and this is another Black Diamonds video. And in this video, I want to talk about this year's BET Awards. And accompanying me is uh, my glass of Chardonnay and Junior's Cheesecake. Y'all know about Junior's Cheesecake. This place is very special to the man who won the Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, you remember he sent his artists all the way to Junior's to get that cheesecake, child. But yeah, Junior's is the is pretty much the is, is pretty much the shit. So I'm so glad I finally got one. But then again, I think what better time to serve up some Junior's Cheesecake than talking about <laughs> the BET Awards? as well as the recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award, Mr. Sean Diddy Combs. Oh yeah, she right too. Hmm. All right, let's begin. Now, first I have to say that um, I think Taraji P. Henson did a good job hosting. She looked beautiful. Every um, outfit changed. She looked flawless in. Like, she was doing her thing. And, you know, we love Taraji. You know, she will, she will be cookie forever in our hearts. So, uh... The show opens up with Lizzo performing, and I must say Lizzo did the damn thing. Uh, another one of the showcase artists that really caught my attention was this girl named Gogo Morrow. I thought she sounded great. She looked good. I really do see that she has a promising career. So it was great that they showed Gogo Morrow. I, I, I was I was really here for her sound. I was here for her look. You know, she was great. Now, let me talk about some of the highlights for me. The, one of the big highlights for me was when um, Jack Harlow performed and he brought out Lil Wayne and then he brought out the vocal Bible herself, Miss Brandy, spitting bars. Now, the first time I saw her spit bars was when she was doing the um, the um, the family business um, reality show with her and her family and she was spitting bars then. So I knew Brandy can spit bars as well as deliver, you know, phenomenal vocals. So... To see her out there, the people went wild. And it was great that Jack Harlow paid homage to her. I mean, it was everything. I was so here for um, seeing, seeing Brandy perform. That was definitely a highlight for me. I thought um, Fireboy DML did a great job. Um, and then I noticed that later on in the show, there were a lot of mic issues. Like when Giveon performed. You know, I like Giveon. I love his song and I love his voice. But he was having like some serious issues with the mic. And you can tell it kind of threw him off. Um, another highlight for me, which I think was the one of the biggest highlights of, um, of the BET Awards, was Lotto. Lotto won Best New Artist. And when she performed, you know, because you know the song that she, um, the song that she did, Big Dead Energy, was, is pretty much set to the tune um, Genius of Love by the Tom Tom Club. But... There was another song that was set to the same tune, and she paid homage to that. And one thing that she did is that um, we see later on that um, YDB, Young Dirty Bastard, comes out, and I literally was like, oh my God, ODB spit that man now. Rest in peace. Um, rest in peace to, to the King of New York, you know, old Dirty Bastard, man. Like, he... When he literally came out doing his father's role, doing his father's part in the song of fantasy, it gave everything. And I was like, oh, my God, he spit that boy out. He can't. Den There's no denying that he's um, ODB's son. And he literally brought that same energy. Um, and then all of a sudden, they brought out the queen herself, Mariah Carey, still giving those high notes she didn't miss a beat. She looked glamorous. She had this beautiful black dress with this train. She looked like a goddess and she delivered. And even Lotto, you know, paid homage to her. And I was like, it was great. Even Brandy was wilding. Like they, I even saw like this, um, 
clip on social media where um, Monica and uh, well, I'm sorry, where, I'm sorry. Ooh, ah, scratch that, my bad. Where I saw Brandy run up to Tamar Braxton and they were both gagging off of um, Mariah Carey. So yeah, I love Monica, yo. I just didn't mean to call. I didn't mean to call Brandy Monica. Definitely that. Yeah, my bad. But yeah, um, Brandy and Tamar Braxton was gagging over Mariah Carey, so that was definitely a highlight. Um, there were other performance. Um, um, like I don't, I forgot the name of the girl who had like the little pink feathers, and I thought her performance was really nice. And they literally, she had it looked like she had this big dress on, and then the feathers, you know, you know, pretty much disappeared. It, it was given very Vegas. If y'all know her name, put it down in the comments. But I loved her performance because it, it was very theatrical, so I enjoyed it. Uh, let's see, who else really moved me? Well, definitely um, one of the highlights of the show was that Sean Diddy Combs was being uh, get he was being um, given the Lifetime Achievement Award, and regardless of how you may feel about Diddy, I have to say it's rightfully deserved. This man has been. Uh, a real pioneer in the industry. He's worked with so many people. I mean, if it wasn't for Diddy, we would not have had Joe to see. We would not have had Mary J. Blige. So you can't take that away from him. And we wouldn't have had Bad Boy Records. You know, despite of all the drama that came with Bad Boy, you know, he does have a legacy and it deserves to be celebrated as far as the music. But uh, I actually thought that the performance was great. Um, it was great to see Shine because, you know, Shine, I think, is the prime minister of Belize. And, you know, him and Diddy have, you know, um, they they have patched up their relationship, you know, after everything that went down in Club New York. So to see him come out and perform, I thought that was very moving. Uh, we saw that he brought out um, the locks. They was there. Little Kim came out. Little Kim was looking looking snatched as always. And. Uh, so yeah, I was here for that. And then when it came down to the Lifetime Achievement Award, it was presented by, you know, Kenny Babyface Edmonds. And Ye. And Ye was wearing all black. Had a black mask, black glasses, and a black cap. And I'm like, I know you hot, dude. Because you can see he was breathing really hard and all of that. And I was like, yeah, he was really on something. It was kind of weird that he completely blacked himself out like literally like if you didn't hear his voice you wouldn't have known it was him and they both you know paid homage to him and he goes up there to do his speech and let's just say something he said in that speech got Pete Rock really pissed off where he called Bobby Brown the original chocolate boy wonder well, all of us who are into hip hop, we know that the Chocolate Boy Wonder has always been Pete Rock. Pete Rock is an ill producer and arranger. He's done beats for so many in the game, and he's a legend. So the fact that Bob, that Diddy said that Pete Rock clapped back and was like, "What the fuck is this?" Like you can't erase me from history because Diddy is from Mount Vernon, just like Pete Rock. And remember, Pete Rock is Heavy D's cousin. And Heavy D was the one that introduced um, Diddy to Andre. So, the fact that that went down, yeah, Pete won like, when taking that shit lying down. But, I have to say that, you know, him getting the Lifetime Achievement Award was well deserved. He's definitely made a mark in music, as well as music history, and, you know, hip hop, hip -hop history as well. So, Regardless of how you may feel personally about Diddy, you know, because after all, you know, I did kind of like throw it out there about that Junior's Cheesecake because if anything, I understood why he did what he did. But the fact you did that on 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 television, that was an extreme form of humiliation. And I ain't taking the shit back. I mean, because I'm pretty sure um, that is something that he had to do for Andre when he was interning for Andre. And probably something that Suzanne the past would have to do while she was interning for Barry Gordy at Motown. But it wasn't done on national TV. So it, it leaves a totally different mark.
But I must say I understand it because this damn cheesecake is a shit. But yeah, so you had all that going on. I also think that the memoriam was really moving. Um, I'm glad that they did, you know, give reverence to Kevin Samuels, who recently passed away, who was pretty much this Internet phenomenon, um, even though a lot of people did not like um, his his, you know, brand of um, people didn't like his brand or like the things that he said or did. But at the end of the day, he did have a following and it, it was definitely a loss. Um I mean, personally, I didn't agree with his shit either. But at the end of the day, there were moments where I did agree with his logic. It's just that I just felt that he didn't always deliver it in the best way. But that's just my take on it. But, uh, but yeah, I have to say this year was a really good show. I really enjoyed it. I mean, get down in those comments and let me know some of your um, some of your moments of things that you enjoyed. Um, I mean, pretty much I just show, shared what I enjoyed from the show and what actually moved me and um, the, the things that um, really jumped out at me that I was like, oh, yeah, I'm with this. But but yeah, I was def I definitely loved Lizzo's performance, mainly because it was given it was given shout out to the LGBTQIA as well as um, body positivity, you know, because, hey, we big we big boys and us big girls. We need love, too. You know, and we need to not only embrace our bodies, but others need to embrace our bodies, too, and not use us as as a as pretty much like a running joke or to humiliate us because we don't have we don't have the body that fits the norm. Because at the end of the day, our bodies are beautiful. We're beautiful. And I think Lizzo is a great representation of that big people are beautiful. And we are. And we're flawless. And we're snatched. Pay attention, bitch. Like, so I'm with it. Oh, yeah. And another highlight that I want to remember is also, I love Billy Porter. Um, rest in peace to my moms up here. My moms was a big Billy Porter fan. And she loved Billy Porter down. So, Billy Porter came out there and literally was giving ballroom. We even saw Dominique Jackson come out there, too, you know, who played um, Electra on Pose. It was a great moment. And everybody was gagging because ballroom culture, you know, has now become mainstream, not only due to Pose, but also due to Legendary. I should definitely check out that show if you haven't. I gag at Legendary. Legendary is everything. You know, it's in its second season and it's. I can say it's going to have a, a long run. It's a, it's a great competition and it's great because ballroom is very essential to the LGBTQIA culture. You know, I've been to many balls growing up and, you know, it's always live and it's, and it's always just inspiring to see people get up there and show their talent and, you know, turn the crowd. You know, and to now to see this now mainstream is everything. So, you know, there was tens across the board and the people were gagging off of that performance. And I was so here for it. You know, Billy Porter is now an icon and I was here for that. And that was definitely another highlight for me. So um, that's what I have, y'all. Get down in those comments and let me know your favorite your favorite moments of the BET Awards. And yes, it's a Black Diamond Award because this is an example of Black excellence. And I'm all for Black excellence, Black justice, as well as Black thoughts and Black theories. So definitely, um, you know, get in those comments and holler at your boy and let me know, you know, some of your favorite moments of the BET Awards, what you liked and didn't like. You know, keep it cute, keep it, keep it um, respectful. But yeah, say what you gotta say, and you know, share what you want to share. I definitely want to hear your hear your feedback on this. So that's what I have, y'all. So until next time, everybody, take care. I'm about to finish this damn Chardonnay and finish punishing this damn cheesecake. <laughs> yeah, shout out to you too, Diddy. <laughs>